So some time ago, I was doing some work with my class and I realized that they had a skill gap in specifically histograms, working with histograms. It's a topic um, in statistics, a topic called um, data representation. So I decided that um, for their afternoon class, I was going to send them a lesson on histograms to work with. So right now I'm on my dashboard. I come over to the menu and then go to lessons. So since I'm interested in histograms, I'm going to quickly search um, for histograms and I'll come, okay? Um, there is a lesson called Presentation of, of Data. Um, it's written um, for NERDC um, curriculum. So I'll open it. And then I can see that it's a fairly well-written lesson, okay, with well-formatted text. Um, nice writing and then I can see that they have a couple of examples fairly well laid out oh and at the end of the day there is a an embedded quiz right in here specifically helping the students to interact with the content which I find very very interesting but at the end of the day I'd like them to be able to do a bit more so what I'm going to do is what I, what I will modify this lesson and I have a video that I want them to watch at the end of the day so um, under add content I will add video content to this lesson I'll go to the end and then add the content or rather add, add the link submit okay so I'll come to publish. I want to preview it before I send it. So preview. I'll go to the end and then I'll see that my video content is right here with other things. I could add other kinds of content, but I'm okay for now. So let me exit this preview. Let me save and continue. Having saved it, let me exit. Come back to the lesson. And then I'm going to click on save to class. And I'll send it to my class, which is just to A Mathematics. So I'll submit. Okay. So lesson has been submitted successfully. Let's go back to the dashboard and take a look at what we have so far. So that's the lesson there. Um, presentation of data. Okay, sorry. Let me select the class, just to A Mathematics. All right. So here's the lesson. Um, Okay, and histograms. But I wanted to give them another quiz, so let me um, publish a quiz to that particular class. Add the quiz. I'll select a couple of questions. So let's start by selecting um, questions under the topic. I think it's called data representation. So it's under statistics and it has shown. So that's it there, data representation. Okay, so I'll see um, the questions available. There's a question on histogram. I'm going to select it. Another question on histograms. So I'm going to select it. Okay, cool. Um, but I mean, what stops me from adding a couple of other questions? So let's scroll back up and see what we can add to this. Okay. I can also see that I could open the question and see what it looks like. And some questions have um, a video feedback. So if I hit the feedback bar, I will be able to watch a video or see a text explanation to the question. But I'm done. So let's click on. Let's click on done. And then go to next. Here I'm able to see when the quiz is going to go live, when it's going to archive how long the quiz is going to take and everything I need. All right, so I go next again. I want to publish it to just to a mathematics. So I select it and then I click on next and then I publish it. Great, everything is looking good. Okay, so let's see what we've done with the class. So they have a lesson that is active in histograms and then they have a quiz that is also active. It will start and um, it has already started and it will end in 24 hours. Okay, that's fantastic. 
So let's just send him a message and say, um, new lesson. Hey class, I have published a new lesson and quiz in histograms. All right, happy studying. Okay, and then I'll post this. All right, so there goes my message and I'm done. I will wait till they interact with the lessons and then I'll come to reports. I will select the quiz that I've given them and I will be able to do my analysis and know how they performed in the quiz.